Determine if y is a function of x. Well, recall that a function is a special set of ordered pairs such that each x results in exactly one value of y. So for number 83, where we have x is equal to y to the fourth, let's start listing some ordered pairs that satisfy this equation. Our formula, x equals y to the fourth, gives us x in terms of y. So let's pick some y values and calculate the corresponding values of x. If we substitute negative 2 for y, we get the fourth power of negative 2. Well, negative 2 multiplied by itself four times is 16. Negative 1 to the fourth power is 1. 0 to the 4th power is 0. 1 to the 4th power is 1. And 2 to the 4th power is 16. Notice that some of the x values in this set of ordered pairs have the same value of x. An input of 16 can result in an output of 2 or positive 2. An input of 1 can result in an output of negative 1 or positive 1. This set of ordered pairs is not a function. Therefore, x equals y to the fourth does not represent y as a function of x. y is not a function of x because some input x results in more than one output y. For number 89, we have the formula x plus y is equal to 2. To get started, let's solve this formula for y in terms of x. Simply take away x from both sides, and we get y is equal to 2 minus x. Now we can use this formula to create a table of input-output pairs. This time, y is in terms of x, so we pick some values of x and then calculate the corresponding values of y. When x is equal to negative 2, we get 2 minus negative 2, which is 4. When x is negative 1, we get 2 minus negative 1, which is 3. When x is equal to 0, we get 2 minus 0, which is 2. When x is 1, we get 2 minus 1, which is 1. And when x is equal to 2, we get 2 minus 2, which is 0. This time, notice that each of our ordered pairs has a different x value. This means that each x value determines exactly one corresponding y value. y equals 2 minus x does represent y as a function of x. Y is a function of X because each input X determines exactly one output Y.